Typhoon Seola leaving behind a path of destruction in southern China, where nearly 900,000 people were moved to safety. Destruction left behind in Hong Kong after violent winds and flooding destroyed areas, uprooting trees and drowning roads. The wind is absolutely ferocious. Um, the closest uh, reading is uh, in, on an island next to us, which is around 140 kilometers an hour. So um, in the village where I live, we've had air cons blow off, roofs, um, doors. Tens of millions of people in the densely populated coastal area of southern China had sheltered indoors on Friday before the storm made landfall, with a maximum sustained winds of 194 kilometers per hour. We were trying to come home before the storm got really bad. It was actually really frightening because um, we thought there were things that were going to fall on us. The Hong Kong Observatory had issued a number 10 hurricane alert, the highest warning under the city's weather system. The first time they had to do so since the typhoon of 2018. By early Saturday, authorities downgraded the typhoon warning in Hong Kong. According to the city's airport authority, more than 300 people were stranded at Hong Kong's airport after some 460 flights were canceled. The storm also left the Asian financial hub a mess. Local officials say there were over 1,000 reports of fallen trees, 18 confirmed flooding cases, and 75 people reported injured. Meanwhile, in Taiwan, preparations are in full swing after officials issued a warning Saturday for a second typhoon, which is expected to pass over the island Sunday before traveling to the central Chinese coast. Firefighters cordoned off areas considered a risk and patrolled ports as well as beaches to urge people to stay away. Melissa Nakavali, City News.